Is Turo a scam? No, it's definitely not. And I'm not saying that because I'm a Turo host. I am a Turo bar host and I love Turo. But no, I'm not being biased. It's by definition. If you look up scam, it just means dishonest practice and fraud. Turo is not a fraud. It's a real company that you could find. They file their taxes, so they're not a fraudulent company. Um, and it's a real deal. I'm making money on Turo. Other Turos are making money on Turo. If you book a trip to Turo, you'll meet a host who's actually renting or sharing their actual car. So this isn't a fraud. This isn't dishonest. For anyone who thinks this is a scam, what I strongly encourage is, first and foremost, looking up Turo. You go to the Secretary of State and look up their information. You can also go through to the SEC.gov, the Security Exchange, and see that Turo filed IPO, Initial Public Offering. They're a real company who actually filed and you have to be a real company to do that. They have a real tax ID number, and you can see that all on the Edgar system through the SEC, which is a security exchange through the United States. So, no, they're a real company. They file real paperwork. They have an actual tax ID number. You can find all this it's conspicuous notice, so you can find all this information online. And so for anyone that thinks the tool is a scam, look up their information and see if, they, if they're a real company. And then that's how you do it. No, Turo is not a scam. Like, subscribe, share, follow the channel. If you like the content, call me out.